Okay, so today we're going to be teaching you how to make an address book using Microsoft Access. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to create your tables and your fields. Now, when you first open up Microsoft Access and you create your database, it should automatically open up Table 1 for you. So your screen should look exactly like this. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to name Table 1. So you're going to go right up here, right in this tab where it says Table 1. You're going to right-click that and click save. It'll bring up this box where it says save as table name and you're going to type in your table name. And in this case that's going to be name and address. You're going to click OK and you're going to do that in your next two tables which we're going to have to create. So you're going to go up here to your navigation ribbon and you're going to click the create tab. And in this tables section of your toolbar right here you're going to click table and that'll create a new table one for you. You just do the same thing you go up, right click, save, and you type in your table name, which this one is going to be emails. The same thing for your third and final table, create, table, right click, save, and this one's going to be called phone numbers. Now we're going to move right on into creating your fields, so go back to your name and address tab, and right in this yellow highlighted box here, you're going to click this arrow next to click to add, it'll bring up a drop-down list. Click text. Now this is just telling the database what type of field you're creating and since this is an address book most of them are going to be text fields. And so field one should be highlighted for you and you're just going to type in your field name. And this one is going to be first name. You're going to do that for all of your subsequent fields so you're just going to click this arrow, click text, this one's going to be last name. And you're just going to keep on going. So then we've got street address, city, state, zip code, and your final one will be apartment number. Now as you can see here, street address does get a little bit cut off, so if you scroll right in the middle here, you see this black bar with the two arrows coming out from either side. You can just click and drag to make that a little bit bigger so you can see the entire field name. We're going to do that for your second and third tables as well. You're going to go over to emails, click the tab right up here. You're going to click this drop down arrow, click text, do first name and last name. Now when you're doing this, make sure you keep first and last name separate. It's going to help you a lot later down the line when you're trying to sort your data. And for this one, we're going to have also primary personal email, secondary personal email, and work email. As you can see, primary personal email and secondary personal email do get a little bit cut off, so you can just do the same thing where you just click and drag. And later on, if you're putting in some information and it gets cut off, you can do that same thing. Just come up to the top here and you can just click and drag so you can see the whole thing. Now you're going to go over to your phone numbers tab and you're going to type in your first and your last name fields. And for the rest of this, we are going to teach you a little bit of a shortcut. We think it saves you a lot of time it's just going to be a lot easier, saves you some typing. So what you're going to do is click right where it says click to add. You're not going to choose any of this, any of these. Just go right up here, make sure you have the fields tab selected in the navigation ribbon. And you're going to click this more fields button. It's right in the add and delete section in between currency and delete under the yes no button. So when you click on that, it'll bring up a drop down list for you. You scroll all the way down under this quick start heading right here, go down and click phone. That'll bring up business phone, home phone, and mobile phone, and fax number for you. You can click and drag to make any that are cut off a little bit bigger, and you're ready to start inputting your data. So there you go. That's how you create tables and field names.